In my last video, I stripped a whole lot of paint off a piece of furniture, and I vowed to never do it again. But then these chairs came along, and I couldn't resist. This is a pair of Broyhill Brasilia dining chairs, and they have been painted, and they've got some loose joints that I'll need to fix. But they were free, so I couldn't resist. And I already have a Brasilia dining table from an older video, but no Brasilia chairs to go with it. So now with these chairs, I would at least have two. But I've got a lot of paint stripping ahead of me. You can see here where somebody tried to fix a loose leg joint by driving a whole bunch of screws in there, but it didn't work, it's still loose. So I'm gonna start by stripping off the paint, and the stripper I'm using is QCS by Stripwell. And I'm just going to take my time. I just uncovered a veneer sand through over here. There's a light spot over here. It wasn't me. Not sure where that happened, but somebody sanded through the veneer. I want to get these arms off uh, so I can get the paint in these little crevices here. I'm hoping they're only screwed on. There should be screws behind here and hopefully there's not much glue in there. Well, that came out easy. Feels like it might be glued. Nope, there it goes. Never mind. All right, now I can. Scrape the rest of this paint off. And now I get to start the fun part, which is fixing the broken joints. First I have to get all these screws out of here. There is one in here, but the head's broken off. Uh, I think I can probably just get that out when I separate these two. This is also loose, and it looks like it's got some non-original screws in there. They look like square drive. Hmm. 
maybe they are original, I'm not sure. I've never seen square drive screws in an old chair, but I don't know, like they're nice screws. Maybe they're nicer than something you'd buy these days. Maybe this chair was Canadian and it's a Robertson screw. I have to get this one out of this side before I can take this completely off. Um, and this one looks like split the wood there. Okay, now I need to get this broken screw out of here. So there's a broken dowel here. The other half is still in the other piece. So I'll have to drill that out and then just clean this up, put it back together. Well, among other things, <laughs> like that joint's also loose. Now the other chair. I haven't found any uh, screws in weird places yet in this one. But the leg joint in the front is loose. That's not an original screw. This leg has a few issues that I need to address before I glue it all back together. Of course, there's this broken off dowel here. And then um, this dowel is loose and this dowel is loose. And then this one also looks like it may have had a screw that went through it. Uh, there's, it's kind of mangled over here. So I have to get these all out and re-glue this one and probably just put a whole new one in here and then of course put a whole new one in there. So first I'm going to heat these two up and try to get those out. one. So I'll just um, put a whole new one in here because it's kind of chewed up now. This one looks like it might break where there was a screw driven into it. Nope. Oh, well, came out. Just gonna drill this one out. And I've got the other half of that broken dowel here. Gotta get that out.
Okay, and now I've got this um, piece of wood missing here. There was another screw driven in here and it probably caused this to chip out. So I think we're gonna fill that with some epoxy putty. So I'm gonna use this stuff for the epoxy putty. And it's really easy to use. It's a two-part putty, so um, you have to cut off a little piece and then mix them together. And I don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. All right, then I think I'll put this dowel in here to uh, just kind of keep it from going in the hole where I don't want it. And then just push the putty in there. And then once it dries, I can remove the excess and then probably just run a drill bit through there to clean up the stuff inside here. And that should be good. These two dowels have screw holes in them. And they're pretty solid in here. They don't feel loose, but I feel like I should remove them and replace them anyway because there was uh, so much wood removed when these screws were driven in. Well, this isn't going to work on the plan B. There's a crack in this end of this piece, and I figure I should probably glue that up before I start putting the whole thing together.
Well, this is the somewhat complicated uh, clamping situation I came up with. I um, think this should work. We'll see. And now I'm outside to sand the chairs with 180 grit. Now it's time to apply the gel stain. I want to make sure I get this all down into the grain because there, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some paint deep down in the grain lines that I missed, so I want to try to cover that with the stain. Hopefully it works. Now I can put on the top coat, which is going to be a wipe-on satin oil polyurethane. And here it is, all finished. Thanks for watching.